hi everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to show you easiest and simplest way to make a winter cowl neck top and i prepared this top within one hour so it has stylish and a client is a, um, a cowl neck and you can fold it near your neck or you can fold it away from the, your neck it's totally your choice and uh, fabric I use is a ponte fabric it is quite nice and uh, a little thicker and give you a quite nice warm uh, look for the winter and I will step guide you step by step how to make it so let's dive into our video I use Ponte Roma fabric it is one meter fabric I use it has two way stretch and it is thicker form of jersey one meter of fabric then I measure 19 inches you can take your own choice but I am going to make smaller top 19 inches I cut and after cutting I simply fold uh, this fabric and now we will start marking for our bodies and bodice pattern how to cut bodice pa pattern i have done few videos on it so you can uh, i will add the link below so you can go and have a look or otherwise keep watching how i am doing is very simple and basic cutting of the bodies i am doing so um, after cut uh, basically i took a shoulder measurement and i'm cutting um, armhole so um, if you know how to cut basic bodice pattern so this will be very easy way for you to cut the uh, top so now for the neckline i'm taking three inches and two inches down because i'm going to add cowl neck so back should not be very deep so i'm simply going to cut this one three or even four inches you can keep because of uh, the um, uh, fabric and the cowl neck i have to add so it's better to keep four inches four inches and two inches deep so I'm just making it a little wider otherwise cowl neck um, will be very close to my neck so it, it is it is up to your choice if you want a cowl neck close to your neck um, so you can keep this distance smaller and from the shoulder down 15 inches I will give curve for the waist so I am taking my waist 16 inches so I have uh, 16 inches from the front and 16 from the back and this is folded so I am taking 8 inches so now I'm going to give a shape to the side of my um, top and then I will cut it and after cutting we will start cutting sleeves and now I have separated back part for the front neckline I am going deep 7 inches because this is a cowl neck so I'm gonna keep it little deeper because I personally do not like um, neckline very close to my neck so it's a 7 inches deep and I, it's slightly oval not totally round and uh, um, this is our first front and back part ready I am going to add some pleats in my uh, sleeve so I am keeping it little wider so I cut 11 inches wide piece of fabric and uh, I am going to from the front I am leaving it 8 inches so it's totally up to you how wide your um, your sleeves could be so it's totally up to you and length I took 20 inches because ending I'm adding the cuffs um, at the end of these sleeves so I am just leaving it little loose fit and I'm going to add plates and cuff So now I am measuring for the cuffs so I am taking 7 inches long you can take your own measurement so I'm going to cut the fabric for uh, the cuffs and uh, again I'm taking 5 inches wide so length will be um, according to your measurement
now I am taking 15 inches wide um, piece of fabric for the uh, neckline for the cowl neck around the neck so I will be simply cut the 15 inches wide piece the length will be according to your neckline So cutting finish and let's start sewing. So we will start sewing by um, joining these shoulders. So first of all join these shoulders and uh, you can use your sewing machine but I'm using my overlocker. So we will start by sewing the shoulders. Now I will start measuring how much fabric we require around our neckline. So I will keep pinning it up. So in this way we will know at the end how much fa fabric is required because I cut a long strip of fabric. And then I will cut extra fabric so we will leave a seam allowance because we have to join these two pieces together now I have stitched them together around the neckline and this is how it looks like at the moment stitching is at the back and it look like a tube and now I'm going to start sewing the sides of this top so this is how it will be folding around your neck Now side has been done and uh, I am going to attach the base of this bodice which I cut. This is a, a strip 5 inches strip I cut so uh, it is. Uh, I will fold it and exactly just like a neckline we will measure according to our um, base and I will cut it and stitch it around just exactly like we did around the neckline. And I will start fixing this belt at the base of this top and I'm using my pin so it will be in place. So basically it's just like a tube and uh, um, I'm stitching it all around according to our measurement and, uh, and then we don't need to do any separate hemming. It will give you a shape of um, hoodie and it looks pretty nice. So our um, bodice part been done so this is how it looks like I'm turning it inside out and it is the time to attach sleeves now. So our neckline done no need of hemming so now uh, we're going to attach sleeves. So in the same way I am adding um, cuffs at the end of these uh, sleeves as well. So now these um, are the cuffs ready to be attached with our sleeves. Now this is how they look like. Yeah the size I'm happy with the size and I'm going to attach it uh, with my sleeves. So same uh, second one as well and I will add the pleats. So make sure uh, stitching is matching with the stitch end so I am going to attach sleeves as well and then we will fix these sleeves and uh, uh, 
um, cuffs together. So now I have attached uh, cuffs with the sleeves and I'm going to attach these sleeves um, with my armhole with our bodies and then our top will be done. After attaching these sleeves to our bodies my top is ready and I'm just turning it inside out this is how these uh, shoulders look like and this is how the back looks like the stitching will come at the back uh, and uh, I'm going to wear it this is my top is ready hope you enjoy this video thank you very much for watching and if you have any suggestions for the future video feel free to uh, add in the comment section below and I will see you all in my next video bye